Yo, what's going on? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, and we are here in a rumble on, I believe this map is called Twilight Gap. Oh well, but here I am. Uh, this will be one of the last times you guys see me as a main Blade Dancer Hunter because I'm here to announce and tell you guys that I will not be using this class anymore as my main. I'm taking my talents over to the Ark Warlock. You will see me in this Saturday's tournament on an Ark Warlock. And you guys will see me most likely in future tournaments on an Arc Warlock or a subclass other than your very well-known TKO Snipes Blade Dancer. Um, there's so many reasons as to why I should have done this a long time ago, but I chose not to. A lot of you guys that also main Blade Dancers know why one would want to switch to a different subclass man oh man this class is straight love i love this class a lot i mean i've used this class for so long um tko gaming almost has 2000 trials of osiris carries and for majority of them i use this exact setup this exact build you know my blade dancer build and a lot of you guys are like why would you give up skip grenades why would you give up um the backstabbing from the front why would you give up the blade dancer super because it's so op um why would you give up blink you know um and hungering blade and all that good stuff well the reason why is because in a sweaty's gameplay it's difficult to be a class that is just not consistent and when i mean not consistent the blink strike is great you know look it, it, most of the time it'll connect if you get the kill using it you'll get your health back it's like oh man that's awesome but it's just inconsistent and you're like you know not every class's melees are great but for the hunter whose super is not that great to be honest it's probably arguably the worst super in the game um i believe you could be a, a more effective player with a titan bubble than you can with a blade dance hunter when you're playing against great people now keep in mind if I'm in a regular match or a Trials of Osiris match or a reg just a regular pub lobby like I'm playing right now and I'm using Blade Dancer, it's going to be great because I'll most likely kill everybody. But when you're playing against Tier 1, some of the best players in the game, you know, it's it's different. Oh, and then there's a, you'll see a breaker here on your screen, I think. Yep, there you go. There's a breaker. I could have gotten one more. I think it's called Slayer after that. That should have counted, but I guess I missed it by like half a second. And then I just freaked out because I was like, why didn't I get it? And then I died. Need in the face. But anyway, so I'm going to tell you guys why. Maybe I can convince other Blade Dancers. And maybe you guys in the comments below can talk as to what you think the best subclass is. Or, you know, why, you know, because right now I'm going to be comparing the Blade Dancer Hunter to the Ark Warlock. The Storm, the Storm Caller, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I'll tell you why. So there's a lot of things on the Ark Warlock that are really, really good. And I'll give you guys, once I have it all set up, because I'm working on the ammo, or not ammo, I'm working on the armor right now on it. So, and I'll tell you guys exactly what my build's going to be, how I'm going to use it for those of you who also main Ark Warlocks. Um, but overall, it's just such a great, great super. For, for example, the Arc Warlock Stormcrawler Super with Ionic Blink, it's so, so powerful. You can bait a lot of supers at the same time, wipe out full teams. And with Ionic Blink is so much better than the Blink you see a Blade Dancer or a Void Warlock using. So that's first, first things first. It's just a better super than my Arc Hunter, uh, my Blade Dancer Hunter, my Blade Dancing Super. It's just point blank a better super. Um, Oh, I'm definitely going to miss Quick Draw, by the way. Man, you guys are seeing some Quick Draw gameplay on the screen. I forgot to even mention that. Um, the second thing is the melee with Amplitude. It's a perk on the Arc Warlock. It gives you extended range on your charged melee, on your uh, Thunder Strike or something. I don't even know what it's called. Dude, that thing is OP. It's insane. It's insane, you guys. I'm... It's crazy to me how how the range in that is just the craziest thing I've ever seen. And I know a lot of you guys are familiar with that. Then there's a perk on the Warlock called Pulse Wave. Where once you become critical damage, meaning once you lose your shield, every, you and everyone on your team, um, it triggers uh, fast uh, movement and weapon handling. Which can, for like 10 seconds, which is like pretty OP. Um, there's also a perk on there that if someone, it's called like feedback or something, if someone melees you, you get your melee back. That's also a pretty OP perk for a melee that's 
super long you know it's or the range is super super long it's kind of cool um there's also a perk uh on the arc warlock that um what's it called oh i mean then you have the arc arc bolt nade it's not the best nade but it's still a pretty good nade but then there's a perk where if you have it on if someone gets tagged by your arc bolt grenade it chains uh, an extra lightning energy um to you and nearby to them and nearby enemies which is which could be which pretty much adds that extra damage um just overall the class is just it's a nicer class to use um i just got wrecked at the end but th th there you guys have it that's that's my reasoning uh, i'm pretty sure i missed a couple really good perks on it too but you guys tell me you know what class do you guys think is the best and i'll see you guys in the next video sad that i'm leaving the hunter go but oh well it is what it is all right boys thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like the video uh comment below for more talking and make sure to subscribe if you haven't for more videos i have some awesome videos coming up for you guys so peace out and i'll see you in the stream stay blessed